Hi everybody. If you're thinking about participating in our upcoming retreat, I just want to lay out that the options are very open. What I want to do is provide some support for whatever works for you. If your retreat time is that you want to listen to the recordings and come to one or even none of the uh, online live meetings from 11 to 1230 on Friday, Saturday or Sunday, 11 to 1230 Mountain Time, you are welcome. And in that context, think about, you know, how much you want to contemplate retreat slowing down, giving yourself a little bit more space to be aware of what's going on with you in your life and potentially in the world. So it could go from very, very minimal retreat time if that's all you're able to do, but still within that time having the thought when you wake up, oh, this is a retreat day even though I have to work or do this or do that, it's still a little bit more reflective. And um, once you figure out how much you want to be involved, how much you're able to be involved, then you can look at structuring your time and using all the materials available to you to um, read, to listen, to watch, to practice embodiment, to practice embodied meditation, and also practice embodied meditation in nature. Maybe that means embodied hiking and just bringing more awareness to being out in nature. Maybe that means walking in the city with your sunglasses on and a little bit more awareness, a little bit less focus and turning and looking a little bit more really opening to see the light rather than the objects. So if you're feeling that you want to slow down, that you need a break, that you want some retreat time, there's lots of support here for it. Once you figure out whether you want to be involved, then the next step is to think about how can that work for you. And please don't forget that everything that we do has a pay from the heart option. So, you know, what works for you. And then if you want to be involved, maybe you have the full three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, June 30th through um, July 2nd. Then think about what's optimal for you. So we're not providing a rigid structure that you might feel like you have to fulfill in some way and be a good retreatant. Uh, you know, instead think about, well, sleep is my number one priority, or I need to be eating more, or I want to be eating healthier. You know, whatever is your priority, spending time with a family member or a friend, put that in and invite them. Say, would you like to, you know, participate in my retreat in any way? And, um, and then structure the time, lay out a schedule. You might not fulfill that schedule perfectly, but think about you know, what, what would an ideal schedule be like now? And what are all the resources, recordings, readings, audio support that I have? And what, how much open space do I think I can use comfortably and um, creatively on my own and artwork, whatever comes in? So we'll start there on Friday. You know, if, if people are still structuring their retreats on Friday, we'll start with that. You know, we'll do a little practice together and then we'll see if anybody needs support with um, 
structuring their time, thinking about retreat in a kind, loving way rather than a tight, controlling, ambitious, whatever negative attitude we might engender around retreat. And there are many. So I'm excited to support you in all this. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.